All right, making a right-hand turn on McClay. I'm sorry, say again, Susan. It's kind of been a zigzag kind of uh, direction throughout uh, kind of like the, this area. Like I said, it kind of started in the uh, Porter Ranch area and then he got off. He's been on and off. It really hasn't been too much of a circle of an area, but he's just kind of ev evading and, and slowing down and catching up and then and then accelerating at high speeds once again, once he gets some clear room. But now we're on 4th Street off of McClay and then making another turn here to the right. And you can see that he's got, there is still a little bit of traffic. Some head-on traffic has come through, but he's been going through red lights at times, like we've seen here, jumping onto the sidewalk going through uh, going through some convenience store parking lots just trying to weave around but he's kind of he it really as a, on a motorcycle he really has the opportunity to try to get away okay now he's going up on another sidewalk here alongside the train tracks and on the sidewalk the air unit sticking with it well now they're they're right alongside San Fernando Road so they're 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 trying to get the uh, the units to go around, but you know what the the air units can still stick with them here and guide those ground units in. Yeah, we're along we're alongside we're alongside uh, the park here. We're coming up, uh, I think, into more of the. Uh, I'm gonna look up. Okay. Okay, we're straight. We're, uh, Burbank's kind of holding us back right now. They've got a couple of planes that are coming in the landing, so we're trying to get in the clear here. Uh, we're trying to stick with it here with the camera, but uh, Burbank's got us kind of uh, doing a little zigzag here as they have a plane, a couple planes coming in. Okay, now he's coming back. He's going to be on Park Westbound first from Park so in the San Fernando area. Uh, coming towards us here, and once again on the wrong side, wrong side of the wrong side of the road, and now going through kind of like a small little alleyway here. Okay, now southbound on four through the stop sign, and then accelerating fast again. The the ground units, the airship's trying to coordinate the ground units into where uh, where he's at back and forth here. So he's got a little bit of traffic ahead. So as fast as he's going and in and out through the alleyways and on the sidewalks and such, the air unit's still coordinating with the ground units, getting them in back into position to get involved in this pursuit. But so far, it's been in and out of, uh, of those little alleyways here in the San Fernando. But you can see he, he looks back every once in a while to see where those ground units are. And now he's like slowing down, whereas we're passing, uh, passing under the 118 freeway here. And now he's making a westbound turn. So he keeps looking back and slowing down. And then once he sees those uh, black and whites with their lights on, once again, you can see he's starting to step it up and get the speeds going again. Well, he kind of he kind of looks back. See, he kind of takes a glance back to see where those black and whites are back there. And then once they start getting close, then he accelerates again. So, and now you see once he's slowing down a little bit, he looks back and then accelerates again. So he's kind of like we're back and forth playing with them here. Now that was the 118 freeway. So right now we're, uh, we're alongside the 118 freeway, just on the south side of the 118 freeway. And we're coming up to the five. So we're gonna, we're, uh, we're approaching. Uh, we're approaching Laurel Canyon. We're right off of the 118 freeway, so we're going to see which way he takes here. And it looks like he's going to keep going through. He had a fresh green there. That's Laurel Canyon, and we're just south of the uh, 118 freeway and coming up to the Fry Freeway. And it looks like he's getting on the. Okay, he's getting on the five north, five north on ramp here. 
And once again, those black and whites have started to catch up to him a little bit, and then he accelerates as we get on the 5 freeway northbound here. Yeah, it's just been it's just been up and back and forth. Those ground units have once again uh, catching up to him here, and he you see how he keeps looking back to see how close that unit's gonna gonna get to him there. And now we're uh, once getting off again at San Fernando Mission Road here. He's got a little bit of slower traffic ahead here. That pickup truck uh, as they approach the bottom of the off ramp. So we're gonna see if he's gonna if he's gonna get off or if he's gonna pass. There was a pass through there, so he's gonna get off of the freeway here on San Fernando Mission. And he's got a, it's a right turn only, but he's going to cut left here, go westbound, going westbound in the wrong direction here. He's got some cross track traffic ahead as he goes through here. He's on the wrong side of the road, head on. Now he's pulling over, back over to the right. Hey, Tim, you got to come to the left. He's going westbound. Okay. Now he's moving on San Fernando Mission Road here, westbound, kind of heading back towards the 405 freeway, which we did pass. Uh, now he's getting off. He's into the dirt here. We're off just off to the side here. The park that is right by San Fernando Mission Road. He's cutting through the park. And that's going to cut it back over to Brand and going past Brand and still going now going southbound here. That was that was Brand, uh, Brand Avenue there that he went through. Now we're still back into the residential areas here just south of the uh, 118 freeway at San Fernando Mission Road. There's a park there, and he just kind of cut through the park. So he went through the dirt roads. Okay, now he's made an eastbound turn, and now another right-hand turn. Okay, now he's on, going underneath the 118 freeway here. He's on Chatsworth. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He came back out the other side. He kind of made a U-turn underneath the freeway. So now he's going back eastbound on Chatsworth. He's going eastbound on Chatsworth. And we're making our way. Now the airship was kind of waiting for him to come out on the other side, but the ground units were coming in. And so he did a kind of a U-turn underneath the freeway there. But you can see he's still looking back there and slowing down a little bit, wait for those units again to get close in behind him. And then uh, let's see if he's going to try to get back on the freeway again. This is going to take him, this is going to be the southbound 5 on-ramp here. Okay, this is the southbound 5 freeway here. So just off of Chatsworth, and it's going to take us uh, back into the kind of the uh, Pacoima area as we move southbound. And then uh, once again, we'll see if he gets on the 118 split here. All right, he committed to southbound 5 freeway, so we're going to stay southbound on the 5 freeway for now. But we've been off, but he's been off of the freeway before, kind of in the area of Pacoima uh, around Osborne but then got back uh, zigzagging through here. But once again, now he's holding a speed of about 70 miles an hour and the units are, are kind of taking their position. But you can see he still keeps looking back to see where those black and whites are. What, like uh, usually when we have a, a motorcycle pursuit, they just really, they floor it. They go like 100, 120 miles an hour and they just leave the black and whites behind. And then they call off the pursuit because they lose sight of it, even with the airship over it sometimes. But this guy, you know, he's slowing down here and just keeps looking back at where those black and whites are.
No, nothing like that at this point. Uh, it all just started with uh, CHP, and then now he was kind of right in front of that car, and then he uh, slowed down, and now he's uh, speeding up again. We're just passing the Osborne overpass there and headed towards the split of the 5 and the 170, so we'll see which direction we take coming up overhead. Traffic uh, a little bit light just because uh, CHP now is starting to kind of running a break behind him back there, so traffic behind as he slowed down was kind of opening up a little bit, but now you can see he's starting to accelerate once again. So we're coming up to the split. We'll see if we take the 5 or the 170 as we make our way southbound now on the 5 freeway here. Yeah, he's weaving in and out of some of that, using some of the some of that traffic back there, kind of as a block. Okay, looks like he's going over the right. We're going to go south on the 170. Okay, he's committed to southbound on the 170 as we go uh, at the five split here. And once again, still accelerating, but he still keeps looking back to see where those black and whites are. Yeah, the, and and he's had that oppor he's had that opportunity at times when he went through the residential areas and kind of zigzagged left and right through the residential neighborhoods that he did lose the black and whites, but then he like slowed down and kind of let them catch up and get back into it. So now now you can see, look, he's slowing down, really hitting the brakes here, coming to a stop, and then one unit actually passed him, and now he's coming up alongside some other traffic here, and kind of using the traffic to block him okay and now he's kind of looking back all this other traffic's trying to get out of the way but he keeps zigzagging and coming right alongside some of this other passing traffic and now he's accelerating once again southbound uh, coming up on Roscoe here and once again now he's picked it up to about 85 miles an hour so he kind of slowed down came right alongside those other cars that were, were trying to get out of the way but he kept kind of using them as a as a block there and now he's uh, picking up speed now as we go southbound on the uh, 170 freeway and coming up on Sherman Way but now you can see significantly a lot more black and whites getting involved in this yeah we're now we're getting off at Sherman Way and that's going to put us just off to the off to the west of uh, of Burbank Airport now, and he's got some traffic. You can see there, he's getting kind of pinched in there, and now he's going to get off and get back on. Now he's going southbound 170 again. So he got off, kind of weaved through a couple of cars there, and now he's getting back on the southbound 170. And uh, once again, now he's accelerating again as those uh, black and whites are still kind of caught back there, and they're trying to catch up. No, there's nothing really they can do. They can't get ahead of it with uh, with uh, stop sticks or anything like that or spike strips. They can't get ahead of it. Be and uh, the, the, the motorcycle is just so nimble that it would just uh, go right around them. And uh, a pit maneuver would be uh, would really be um, would, would be causing injury to the rider uh, if they tried to do any kind of pit maneuver on it. So at this point, you can see uh, traffic's backed off a little bit. The black and whites, once again, getting back into it. He kind of slowed down for a little bit and then uh, let those black and whites kind of catch up to him. And now he's playing, he's uh, accelerating again. Got that cat and mouse thing going and weaving in and out of traffic here. Yeah, you can see now he's slowing down again. He's hitting the brakes. He's uh, hitting the brakes there and letting that, and having that, uh, having that unit get right up just about onto him. And then he's accelerating again. So it's been kind of this way through this pursuit where he just comes, he lets those, he just hits the brakes, and those units either pass him or they just come right up, uh, right up against him almost. And then he accelerates and tries to pull away again. So you know he's kind of slowing down now. He's got a little bit of traffic up ahead. But now he's slowing down to about 40 miles an hour. We're coming up to the 134 and the 101 split here, so we'll see which direction he takes. But now 
He's over to the, he's, well, he's going to try to get off at Magnolia, so we'll see what happens here. But he's gotten off before, and then he's gotten right back on the freeway. Okay, so he's coming to the bottom of the off ramp here, and he's gonna he's gonna go make the turn and go eastbound on Magnolia, and still go through it. Okay, so we're going away from the freeway, 170 freeway, eastbound on Magnolia here. All right, we're through Tahunga, through Tahunga. We're gonna be coming up to Lancashire uh, fairly quickly here. Eastbound on Magnolia, on the surface, we've gotten off and on the surface streets here, into the kind of into the into the North Hollywood area here. All right, he's coming back around north. He's zigzagging through the buildings here. Going to go northbound on Lancashire. We'll see you. Northbound Lancashire coming around you. All right, going northbound on Lancashire. Uh, he's going to come back around. Eastbound turn on the small street there. All right, keep coming around to the north. All right, he's going through the shopping center. He's in the parking garage. I got him, I got him. All right, he's turning northbound here. He's got a. All right. He's into the red line. He's into the red line parking lot here. Going through on the sidewalk. He's off the sidewalk. Our westbound Chandler. Westbound Chandler coming up to going under the 170 freeway. Westbound Chandler. And he's going going through the intersection. He's taking the bus lane. All right, Tim, you got to get up ahead of him here. He's in the bus lane alongside Chandler here, westbound. All right, coming up to Laurel Canyon. Yep, he's making a turn. He's out of the he's out of the lane. He's in the crosswalk. He's going back. Southbound turn. Making a southbound turn. He's still going southbound. Southbound. Southbound Agnes. 
Southbound Agnes from Chandler. All right, coming back out to Magnolia. Westbound, westbound Magnolia. Okay, going through the Arco station here. All right, keep southbound Laurel Canyon, southbound. Come on, Tim, get around, come back into this. Put it out your door so you got eyes on it. All right, we're coming up to the 101, just north of the 101 freeway here. Laurel Canyon, A, he's slowing down. He's got some traffic up ahead. He's got the red light and he's making a left turn. Wrong way. Okay, now we're going eastbound Riverside. Eastbound. We're going down the wrong side of the road. Now we're being told the driver is now speeding down Riverside, still in North Hollywood, still with CHP in tow, in the air, and on the ground. We've watched this motorcycle driver, as you said, Peter, barrel through the streets, through intersections, uh, narrowly missing cars, almost going head on with a car at one point, which is not a very wise battle to choose when you're on a motorcycle. Um, again, the, the tactics for chasing someone on a motorcycle in a pursuit are very different than the ones a CHP or any law enforcement agency would use if that person was in a car. This person may be more of a danger to themselves than they are to others. And we keep seeing this motorcyclist turning around. He keeps looking back over his shoulder to see uh, if he has lost the CHP or the police. Uh, right now he is under the freeway. I believe that's the uh, 170 freeway that he's underneath. But uh, he may be stopping underneath it knowing that the helicopters are overhead and he's trying to evade. Oh, there he is. Okay, so now he is uh, picking up speed again, sticking onto the surface streets. Uh, we keep thinking that he doesn't necessarily know where he's at because he's been circling a lot. He's been sort of going down uh, wrong directions, going into shopping center parking lots and then getting back out again, uh, basically doing anything he can to sort of try to evade law enforcement. Uh, but as you can see, he is still going very fast, turning around, uh, checking to see uh, where the, the officers are. Uh, right now, here's, he is still in North Hollywood and uh, in a very residential area, I guess, turning uh, into a 7-Eleven now. Into a parking lot. We've seen him turn into several shopping centers throughout this chase in Silmar, Granada Hills, some of the other locations, uh, just to cut across and to get on a different road to try to elude the CHP. Uh, but they have stayed on his tail this entire time in the air and on the ground. While he continues to look back and see if they're still following him, he's very much aware of the fact that they are behind him. And at times we saw this driver go very, very slow and allow the CHP patrol cars to get very, very close to him. And then at that point, he speeds up and takes off like a rocket, which you can do in a motorcycle very easily and quickly. Just take off at a rapid speed and you know, just barrel down the streets. We've been watching him do that this entire time. And what's curious is I don't see any flashing sirens right now or any CHP vehicles following him. That could be a tactic. Sometimes when law enforcement knows who this person is, if they have a description or they've been able to figure out the identity, they back off a little bit because, of course, they want to focus on safety. And uh, their number one concern is making sure all of the drivers, wow, look how close he is to some of those that cars, was close. Uh, that they are okay, that they are safe. So sometimes, uh, in the interest of public safety, they back off a little bit. Uh, but uh, as you can see, that doesn't really matter for this motorcyclist because he is still just driving like a maniac right now, coming very close to cars, uh, turning. Uh, abruptly and going in the wrong side of the road. Uh, and now on the freeway. And now back on the freeway. I believe this is the 170 in North Hollywood. If our uh, uh, producers could give us a quick update on the location. It is the 101 the southbound. The 101, Peter. okay. Yeah, he, he made it past the 170s on the 101 southbound. Now from North Hollywood and uh, picking up speeds as he enters the freeway. And right now, again, we've talked about this many times, how the traffic uh, or lack thereof can be a blessing or a curse. Unfortunately, this person is in a motor, on a motorcycle, so they can weave in and out of traffic to begin with. This person is now involved in a pursuit. There's not very much traffic going on right now. So uh, for this driver, it's a bit of an open road, which is very problematic for the CHP. But you're right, Peter, earlier when we were following this pursuit on our sister station, 
KCAL 9, CHP was very close by. They had their lights and sirens on. Um, following from the air, and, and we're not seeing that right now. So he is on the 101 southbound right now. He just passed Lancashire. You can see he still keeps looking back over his shoulder. He wants to know where the cops are uh, to see if he could get a clean getaway. Uh, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night on a Saturday. He's now uh, just passing the Universal City exit. So obviously, uh, traffic is much lighter right now. People out, though. So there is a lot of danger for the folks who are, who are uh, maybe heading home right now. Uh, on a Saturday in, night in the Hollywood in area. In the Hollywood area, certainly there's always a lot of people out there uh, on the weekends. So uh, this this could be a very dangerous situation as this motorcyclist continues uh, to pick up speeds. And right now it looks like he's swerved all the way over uh, into the near the fast lane. It seems, but he's still now swerving now back into the right lane. So it, it just seems like he's very erratic. He doesn't really know what he's doing. All over the place and uh, at times on the surface streets, appearing to taunt the CHP officers, allowing them to get close. And when they do, he speeds up and takes off. Uh, right now, we're just watching him weave across the 101 freeway. Uh, now, in between cars, lane splitting there um, and going at very high rates of speed, just coming up onto Highland Avenue now, approaching Hollywood here, where it is possible that. This driver is going to now encounter a lot more traffic this time of night. On a Saturday night, we could see a lot of traffic here from the people who are coming and going into Hollywood right now. Yeah, we've seen more, it looks like, congestion heading northbound on the 101, but we are seeing more uh, traffic picking up here in the southbound lanes. Uh, and as you mentioned, Elsa, he is uh, near Highland. He just passed the Hollywood Bowl, I believe. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, there are definitely more cars on the freeway right now, and that poses a greater challenge and a concern for all the drivers out there right now because we don't necessarily know uh, where this motorcyclist is, is headed or uh, what his intentions are, but we have seen many dangerous close calls. As you can see, he sort of creeps in between a lot of the cars there, gets in front of them, swerves all the way to the uh, left side of the road, then back to the right. Uh, our guess is that he's not quite sure where he's going because we've seen him get off and then get back on the freeway at certain points. Also going into residential areas, swerving around streets, getting into uh, gas stations and shopping center parking lots, and then getting back out again and circling around. Uh, but again, we continue to see this has been going on uh, for more than a half hour at this point. We uh, picked this up in Silmar uh, near the 210 and 5 freeways. Uh, and now we are in the Hollywood area on the southbound 101, and this driver of this motorcycle still going very fast and very dangerous on the freeway. Well, it appears, Peter, as we watch this driver continue to make some risky moves, lane splitting right there, and uh, driving very, very fast on the 101, we're told the CHP has now ended their pursuit. Uh, like you said, they might glean the information they need from a license plate uh, and continue to follow this person not on the freeway and not on a motorcycle, but maybe perhaps pay a visit to their home or work. But at this point, they have terminated the pursuit. And, um, and that's not the, to say that this person obviously won't be arrested because, correct. again, uh, and we, we've spoken with CHP officers about this. Oftentimes, this is how they handle things. They, they know who this guy is. They are certainly aware of his address, and they uh, don't necessarily need to, to chase him. They're doing this out of public safety, the best interest for people around. So uh, we're going to now pull out ourselves. Uh, but, of course, if there are any updates, we will certainly let you know, uh, not only here on CBS 2 News, but also on our website, cbsla.com. In the meantime, we have more.